All right, I'm at a, a P22 and there's a broken base string, so we're gonna go through the process of replacing the base string. So the first thing I have to take off the coil from the broken string. So I'm going to turn it out a whole turn. Let's see, where is the... This is uh, challenging to see with, with it being under the lip. So I'm, I can now see the Beckett's on this, pointing this way, so I'm gonna bring it to the upward position. And now I can take it out. Maybe I want it on the sideways position. And that's now a half a turn. Needle nose don't work, I'll use a screwdriver. There we go, sometimes I use a string hook. But there we go, got that out of the way. So that was a half a turn. And now another, there is my outward turn and I need to see where the Beckett's ending up. I'm gonna, most of the time I have the hole in the pin going up and down, but because of this ledge, I'm actually going to intentionally have the hole sideways, so my wet bend of the wire is going to go in this direction. All right, so Beckett's out, the pin's turned out. I have my base string. Oh, you know, if the action pulls out easily, take the action out. I already took the bolt out. Now you can get the, pin, the string in and not worry about it, the path. I already got my little vice grips ready to clamp onto that. Oh, now I'm gonna crisscross over the bridges, come to the top. Use my fingers as a measuring gauge. So the bottom of my fingers are at the bottom of the pin. And then I'm gonna use my cutter and cut at the top of my fingers. Now, I'm going to make a coil. And I measured this core wire previously and I actually practiced making coils with this diameter wire and I'm going to go one, two, and a half. Mm. I grab the wire and then I use the pin as a prying. I'm prying against the pin. Now, with base strings, you need to add tension to this. So, if it's a single wound string, I'm going to give it one whole twist at the pin. So rather than putting this pin right on, I'm going to give it one twist in the direction of the coil. So the coil is coming here, so I'm going to be twisting that direction around. So I'm going to now take this and give it a full twist and put it on. Is there. Then when you're putting the Beckett in, you actually want to kind of grab it here 
that right now this wire is wanting to rub against the edge of the pin in this direction so i'm going to take this coil right here and twist it downward so i'm giving it a little twist like this so it goes straight in and now i'm gonna grab my duckbill pliers and It goes in nicely. And I'm gonna start putting tension on it. And I'm watching the coils. I'm looking at the, it's all looking good. So now you can use your little prying thing to keep all the coils in a line and I'm watching this coming up to tension coming up to the same level as before so before it has full tension on it I'm going to use my coil I call it a coil tapper downer get all of the coils tight together then always where is my Beckett's on the bottom one more squeeze with the Beckett you want to make sure that that is really tight and it is and That's good and nicely done coil then you can come down here and I'm, I've got a little brass piece so I, I'm gonna tap here and make sure my hitch pin loop is against the plate and follow it up and give a little tap here at the bridge and you have now successfully put on a bass string on a vertical piano.